Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy, tuberculosis and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic in Delhi. In this video, we will talk about drug resistant tuberculosis in children when do we suspect it. So as we know that the tubercular bacilli or the TB bacilli can sometimes be resistant to one or many drugs. It sometimes is resistant to the two main first line drugs which are isoniazid and rifampicin and then it is known as an MDR or multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. Sometimes the TB bacteria is resistant to other drugs but not rifampicin and in that situation it is called as an INH monopoly resistance. In children, usually the resistance comes because they get a resistant bacteria from an adult usually with a close contact or a family contact. But in some children, especially in adolescents, mismanaged tuberculosis, which is initially drug sensitive, can become drug resistant. So why is it important to know about drug resistance in children? Now it is seen world over that approximately 5 to 10 percent of children which we see with tuberculosis have drug resistance. Now if you know that the bacteria is sensitive or resistant then the management becomes extremely easy. And it, it should also be remembered that the treatment of drug sensitive versus drug resistant tuberculosis is totally different. Now if a child who has drug resistant tuberculosis get medicines for a drug sensitive tuberculosis the child is not going to improve. On the other hand, it leads to damage inside the lungs, which will lead to progression of disease. And in addition, during the time the child gets treatment for drug sensitive TB, the child or the adolescent can actually pass on this bacilli to other members of the family. Now, what are the situations in which we think about drug resistant tuberculosis? Now, the current national guidelines from the government of India suggest that all patients, including children who are diagnosed to have TB, should be evaluated for at least one drug resistant and which is rifampicin. So any patient who is diagnosed to have tuberculosis should be evaluated for rifampicin resistance. Now, in case this has not been done, then we evaluate the child at one month of treatment whether the child is actually improving with treatment or not. If the child is not improving with the normal treatment at one month, then this child needs to be evaluated for drug resistance. So persistence of fever, persistence of cough, non-improvement in chest x-rays are signs of poor or no improvement in tuberculosis. Now, in addition, uh, if a child has been treated for TB a second time, there is very high chance of having drug resistance. Or if there is an adult or another child in the family with MDR TB, then there is very high chances of having TB. Now, how do we diagnose a drug resistant TB in children? Now, the diagnosis of drug resistant tuberculosis in children is definitely difficult and demanding. So the reasons are that children don't produce sputum as adults do and in addition the amount of bacteria which is found in children is less so the disease is called as posse bacillary. So what needs to be done? In older children who can bring out sputum, sputum can be tested. In younger children we can test the gastric aspirate for the TB bacteria. Now in case that is not possible or is not giving us a result then we can do a bronchoscopy and a bronchoalveolar lavage to make a diagnosis. If the child has lymph node tuberculosis, then a lymph node aspirate can be done or tissue biopsies can be taken. Now these samples need to be subjected to microbiological test, which might be in the form of molecular test like a gene expert test or a line probe assay or tubercular bacteria culture in the form of an MGIT growth indicator tube culture. With the help of these investigations, it is possible to make a diagnosis of drug resistant tuberculosis. So in case your child is having tuberculosis, 
do understand that it is important to know whether the child has a drug sensitive TB or a drug resistant TB. But if the child is not improving with treatment, if the child has left treatment in between, if there is a contact with an MDR TB, then there is a very high likelihood of this being drug resistance. You need to consult a pediatric tuberculosis specialist for further management. Thank you.